This is an overview of the Zendesk and Dynamics 365 apps powered by PopDoc. We'll cover both the Zendesk and Dynamics 365 views and features. We'll also go over how you can customize your views to access information that is most relevant to your end users, including custom fields. We're going to start out by taking a look at the Zendesk ticket view. Right now we are on the Hansen Universal Genius Emporium account looking at a ticket for lettuce recall from E. coli. Over on the right hand side you'll notice the Dynamics 365 app. This app gives you access to three endpoints out of the box and those endpoints are contact, account, and you'll see opportunity down here at the bottom. Now um, you'll see that there's quite a few fields under these endpoints that you have access to right out of the box and these can be further customized including any custom fields that you guys have. We'll touch on that a little bit more later after we take a look at the Dynamics 365 side. And before we jump over there, I'd like you to notice that the priority of this ticket is currently set to low. So we're now going to go over and look at Dynamics 365. This is the Dynamics 365 view of the Zendesk ticket grid. The fields that display on the ticket grid can also be customized, um, including any custom fields that you have. And again, we'll touch on that a little bit later toward the end. A couple features I'd like to note is filters and drag and drop grouping. So filters are really handy when you have a large amount of tickets that you're dealing with and you're looking for some specific information. So you'll notice that you can filter on any of the Zendesk API endpoints that are available and it's a pretty extensive list. You also have the ability to add as many filters as you'd like to ensure that you get exactly what you're looking for. So once you've got those set up, go ahead and hit save and you can apply that. I mentioned the drag and drop grouping. Um, again, when you're dealing with a large number of tickets, this is a really nice way to get to exactly what you're looking for so if, for example, you wanted to group by priority, you can just drag that up here, and now we can see those are grouped by low, normal, and urgent. To undo your grouping, you can just simply hit the X and remove that. By expanding the Show Details section in the bottom right-hand corner, and then selecting Select Detail and Comments, and then one of the tickets, we'll choose the lettuce recall from E. coli, continue to use that same ticket. You'll see that we now have access to the comments on that ticket, along with any timestamps and additional information that may be relevant. Actions become accessible by right-clicking a ticket. So again, we're going to continue to use this lettuce ticket. Right-click that, and you'll see that we now have the ability to add a comment to that ticket, change the priority, status, delete the ticket, or even set it as spam. Uh, as soon as we select one of these actions, perform an action, that update is performed through the Zendesk API. And so we're going to go ahead and show you what that looks like by changing the priority of this lettuce ticket. Remember earlier um, we noted that that was low. We'll also see right here that's a priority of low. So we're going to go ahead and change that to urgent. Um, e. coli sounds like it could be an urgent case. So now at this point, um, and you can see how blazing fast that was, that update took place through the Zendesk API and then updated and retrieved the, the new data so we can see that that is marked as urgent. And now if we were to switch back over and take a look, we can see in Zendesk we have a note up here saying that this ticket has been updated with changes. And the priority is highlighted in blue and now showing urgent, stating that, uh, showing that that has been updated through the Zendesk API. Earlier I told you that you can customize the fields that display in both Zendesk and Dynamics CRM. So along with your app subscription, you get access to a PopDoc App Edition account that allows you to customize your app. To get logged in, you'll just go to login.popdoc.com. I'm already logged in here for the sake of time. But first we'll take a look at Dynamics 365. So when we're on Dynamics 365, we have the ability to change the title. Um, we got a couple options down here for allowing the collapsing of the widget, things like that. Um, but we're going to focus more on the endpoints and what you can do with customizing those lists. Um, the account uh, uh, the contact account and opportunities endpoints all work the same under Dynamics 365, so we'll just work with the contact one for today. 
You'll see over here on the right hand side, you can move those fields up and down, reorder them, even delete ones that you think may be unnecessary. So we told you that you could add custom fields as well. So if we click add field, we're going to get a list of additional fields that are available. These are not only your default fields for the contact endpoint, but also any custom fields that you've created will also show up in here. So it's a matter of just selecting which fields you'd like, hit add selected, and then those will show up for your end users. Next, we'll look at Zendesk. You'll notice that this screen is very similar to the Dynamics 365 screen that we were just on. So we have the ability, again, to change the title, the fields. We can reorder those, delete them, or again, we can add a field, and this will allow you to choose from any of the additional default Zendesk fields, as well as any custom fields that you have created. Now we have a couple more options on this screen. Right here we have restrictions. So here you can click to add a restriction. This is basically a filter. So if you'd like to filter the data before it hits your end user, uh, for example, maybe you only want to show open tickets or tickets from the last 30 or 60 days, you have the ability to do that and pre-filter it before it gets to either the Zendesk or Dynamics 365 app. You'll notice another section down here called Options. And this gives you control over which features and functionality is available to your end users. So as an example, if you didn't want people to be able to take actions and add a comment or change a priority or status on a ticket, it would be as simple as just unchecking this box. You'll see you've got uh, quite a few options available to you here, as well as the filtering, so you can turn that kind of stuff off and on, as well as exporting of that data. If you're ready to get started, you can go to the Zendesk Marketplace and search Dynamics 365 app, or if you'd like to learn more, you can go to popdoc.com.